Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Lieutenant Leroy. Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved Anniver- Where the hell is- He's sitting there looking at me. Alright, but welcome back. Had a little bit of a problem with the save file, so we're not in the exact same place. But, we are close. And that's what matters. In fact, we are actually- just before that room. Just before the room that we ended in. Oh, there he is. Nice. Come on out, guys. Alright, so... Now, you're just trying to find a way out. Also, I figured out where the damn terminal was. Uh, so... I will be able to show you all. And damn, I love shotguns. Ah. Baggages. I think it's this way. Oh, why is my back so itchy? Hi, assholes. Hurt my shoulder. Oh my god, what's my back so itchy? That's annoying. That's the way? Is there another way? No. Cool. I love that, just running through while you're shooting. Where? Some bitch was right there and he still couldn't hit me. I thought that was one of them. One of the big guys. Oh, there he is. Okay. Skadoosh. Where do we go? This way. And off we go. What, you can't stand on a damn light bridge? Holy shit! Oh my god! Alright, now here's where the terminal is. Right up to the. Right, let's make sure. Boom. Alright, now let's see if I can get up there. And. Who? Alright, now let's watch this terminal.
construction of a circle for the surrounding unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever exited. No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. Atmosphere from inside the craft stopped venting two weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. Gases that did escape were sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. I have no way to know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I perform my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. Just one of these spores, if released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the flood infection. Many thought this unwise, as there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last flood samples. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. And I believe she was correct. I know in a way, I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the flood. To immunize? To cure? I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the flood. But I know this cure is possible, even though the four genius of the Forerunners was unable to achieve it. The Forerunners' ancient enemy held and used that knowledge once, but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. Of course, I have no reason to believe that here lies the entirety of the parasite. It may be waiting in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation, but I know that in order for anything to survive, I have to protect this installation and its quarantine very carefully. Yes, the library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, Next visitor, things will be different. All right. Well, so those glass quarantine things that y'all just saw in those little rooms to the side where the flood were first busting out of, those lights were where those were. So, the whole story is that the flood actually broke through that glass, then broke out the doors, and now here we are. Alright, let's go. Survivors. Forgot about these guys. I knew there was one on board. All right, let's go. Come on, survivors. I will keep you safe.
again. One go. Where are they? Has a feeling he's dead. There's no stopping me. My guys are not very effective against the flood. More over here. Don't stop shooting it. Shit, we got more coming in. guys are way too hard to protect. You die. Don't stop shooting it. We saved him. Greetings. I am the monitor of installation zero four. I am three four three guilty spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! Boom. Alright, so what you will notice is that this guy will call you Reclaimer. Now, there's a whole theory behind that, because there's a an ancient human, human who's friends with uh, one of the leaders of the Foreigners, whose name was Didact, and they gave him a Foreigner name, which was Reclaimer. All that shit had a suit just like Master Chief. Uh, had a had an AI just like Cortana and uh, the whole theory is that oh when the librarian was indexing species uh, she put seeds in the human DNA that would lead to born stellar aka reclaimers uh, reincarnation and I find it rather hard to believe. If you notice, uh, the... Oh, I forgot about these ugly bitches. The Pillar of Autumn's, uh, little logo, 
is actually the reclaimer symbol. Now I believe maybe uh, the librarian could have uh, I'm trying to concentrate here while playing this game, and it's rather difficult. Now I believe maybe the librarian could have affected the human DNA so that eventually they would come up with or uh, AI suits Spartan program all that and also later in the series he learned that she also put seeds in the DNA so that uh, Master Chief would have a certain immunity will not spoil that for you at least uh, but other than that other than his bloodline having that the inventions of all these things and hoping that Master Chief would just happen to be a member of the Spartan program. That's plausible. Reincarnation through technology? Nah. Uh-uh. No way. So that was my little rant for the day. Let's continue playing. The index. We must oh, fuck, these guys are like fucking everywhere. Alright, that is actually what we are after, but unfortunately, cannot reach it. So, our mission right now is, those things are fucking nasty, is to get up to that elevator, bring it down, and then we can access the index. Because that is the key to activating Halo. Die from these old fucking pods. There we go. Now I'll be fine. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, this mission is much more difficult. I'm not gonna go charging for it, I'm gonna let them come to me. Too late. Going back, going back, going back. Get him with the choke point. Come on, bitches. off his fucking arm. There we go. Alright, it's been a long ass time since I played this one. So I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh, over here. Alright. Come on, bud. Where are we going? 
The security doors are sealed automatically. I will go access the override to open it. Well, this is not good. This portal is the first of ten. Okay. That was gonna make me defend that point. I know there are a couple parts like that. You going? Show me where to go, dude. Hustling. Come on. You brought such ineffective weapons to combat the flood, despite the containment protocol. See, he's assuming that I'm born or yeah, that I'm born stellar. He thinks I'm born stellar, but I'm not. Just because of the freaking logo. I'll even show you proof. Because uh, there is the hell freaking uh, Captain Key's uniform has it on it. The the foreigner symbol for Reclaimer. The flood must not escape the inspiration. Alright. There are hidden health packs. All over the place. I don't remember where though. Hello. You can see the small creatures carry sports that has a host. Shoot the floor, bud. Hey, right, as long as I can keep ammo for my shotgun, I should be good. Wish I had some better, more long range weapons. Go health pack. I I don't have enough ammo left. Oh yes. Damn spores are gonna take that out pretty quick though. We must continue this way, please. Try and stay out of reach of the spores, and maybe this thing will last longer. Over shield. Perhaps we'll have time to see them later. Sentinels will supplement your combat system. But I suggest you upgrade to at least a class 12 combat skill. Your current model movement scans is a class 2, which is ill suited for this kind of work. Yeah. A plasma conduit breach in section 552. Disrupted power flow to a rabbinic maintenance. Alright, so did he just leave? 
wait, it get it gets worse. I don't want it to get worse. Come on, buddy. Oh, that looks like a guardian. Flood activity has caused a failure in a drone control subsystem. I must reset the backup unit. Please continue. When I've completed my task. Now how did human medkits get here? Kinda worries me, makes me think that maybe I wasn't the first human that he brought. Alright guys, well that's about it for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Do what you do. I will see you all later. Peace.